Giannis Antetokounmpo is one of the best players in today's NBA and he has all of the accolades to back it up. But why is he still so humble? What's up guys, my name is Bogar. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy NBA content, make sure you subscribe. Now today we're going to be talking about Giannis Antetokounmpo and why he's still so humble and kind even with all the accolades and achievements he's had in his career. Make sure you hit that like button below, let's see if we can get 20 likes on this video and let's get straight into it. Giannis was born overseas in Athens, Greece on December 6, 1994. His parents were immigrants and they couldn't bring in much money for the family because they couldn't easily find work. So Giannis and his brothers at a young age started selling sunglasses, pocket watches, and other stuff like that on the streets to help their parents bring in money. Their family was at a constant need of shelter, food, and clothes as they were very poor and struggled to make it. Their family was also in constant fear of the police at the chances of them getting deported. At a young age, Giannis and his brothers learned to appreciate everything and developed a good worth ethic. To cope with this traumatic childhood, Giannis turned to sports. He actually started off playing soccer until he was recruited to play basketball with his size. This is what changed his life forever. The recruiter's name was Spiros Veleniatis. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm gonna put it on the screen but we're gonna call him Coach Veli. They started training and working out a lot together. Now at the start, Giannis was pretty much horrible at everything, but Coach Veli saw his potential with his size and his athleticism. Coach Veli wanted Giannis to play for his team, but Giannis actually declined the offer because he wanted to keep working and making money to support his family. They worked out a deal where if Giannis played for the team, Coach Veli would assure him that Giannis's parents would get jobs. Giannis agreed, he played for the team, and his parents both got jobs and were finally bringing in some kind of income to support the family. Giannis was finally able to live his childhood. Throughout the first couple of years, Giannis actually struggled playing basketball, but his passion and strong work ethic allowed him to stay competitive. He eventually ended up improving and scoring more and more and becoming more dominant. With his last game with Coach Veli, he ended up putting up 50 points. Then we're going to fast forward to 2012, while Giannis was given an opportunity to play for a Greek pro basketball team. He capitalized on this opportunity, grinded, and made sure that he could do anything possible to make his team win. This is the year that he became a nationwide prospect, and many teams turned their heads and wanted him. So he ended up to clearing for the NBA draft and he was selected 15th overall by the Milwaukee Bucks. This changed both his and his family's lives forever. He instantly became a millionaire, but this money did not change him. He constantly sent money back to his family in Greece to make sure he could support them. During his rookie year, he made the largest purchase of his life for $400 for a brand new PS4 and he felt bad that he ended up selling the console and sent the money back to his family in Greece. If you don't think that's humble, I don't know what to tell you. And these kind of actions are what shaped Giannis into what he is today. And as you've seen over the years, he's just gotten better and better, multiple time MVP, finals MVP, finals champion accolades go on and on and on and he's not even 30 yet. but always remember if there's a lesson to be learned from Giannis's story you can turn any bad situation into good as long as you work hard enough and stay disciplined that's pretty much it for this video guys if you enjoyed make sure you hit that like button below let's see if we can get 20 likes on this video like i said make sure you subscribe for more nba content and i will see you guys in the next video